Good afternoon, this is Jian from New Vision, and today we're going to have our second uh, tutorial on the New Vision SDK and how to use the New Vision SDK to build your own light application. Uh, in the today's, in the last video, we talked about how to build the uh, SDK, use our SDK with our uh, user interface, it's a command line it's application. And last time we didn't connect to uh, LiDAR. So in this uh, tutorial, we'll show uh, how it what looks like when it's connected live LiDAR. So uh, I already set up my PC uh, connected to a LiDAR through the, through the Ethernet, uh, converted to USB and then connect to my uh, PC using a USB port. And so uh, if you, once you connect to the LiDAR, and my light, I have an IP address at uh, 192.168.110.222. And if you go to the web page, and then you will see this uh, web page from the LiDAR. And you can see this information. You can see the uh, device. It's a Titan M1. It's a status. It's running. So that means it's live. And this is IP address and all the other information. Uh, you can want to change the configuration of the LiDAR, you can log in. Uh, you can get a password from us, you can log in and change uh, many different parameters. But you know, today I'm not going to show that. And you can also do the firmware upgrade uh, by getting the download of firmware from our website. You can then choose the firmware and then click the upgrade now, then you will change the uh, firmware on the LiDAR, okay? This is also system parameters, you need password to take a look. Okay, once you have the LiDAR connected to your PC, uh, let's go to our the demo again. Uh, this is the same command line applications we used from uh, last time. The only thing I changed is the IP address of this to correspond to the IP address of the LiDAR connected to this PC. It's, a, it's this, uh, make sure it's correct. Uh, once you change it correctly, you can uh, Rebuild the solution, so uh, allow the IP address to take effect after you change. Yeah, it will take a momentarily and uh, finish the build. And once you have these uh, later up and running, uh, the software finished, then next thing you will do is you can just click and then I'm going to just run without the debugging. And you will see uh, the program is running and uh, you know, you got the uh, parameters from that and you got uh, lots of frames from the LiDAR itself. Uh, so it's the, the size of the data is like uh, 21 something. And then, and then you finish the uh, process because this program will only run for a little bit and then you will exit, okay? So that's roughly it, and you can see there's uh, many things you can get from this uh, code. One is like uh, on LiDAR info status we mentioned last time, and we call API, and then from the LiDAR you're going to receive the series number, serial number, the right software version, and other information like, like the frame rate, uh, etc. Even the temperature of the LiDAR. Uh, then you can just, uh, in your application, you normally have to deal with the on-frame uh, start uh, and then process each frame data inside this function. Okay, and that's it. Uh, it's, you, can, you can see it's very simple to connect our uh, live LiDAR to this software and you can see all the information is coming in correctly. Okay, and then that's it for today's tutorial is very short and in the next tutorial I'm going to show uh, similar application but with the uh, uh, user interface so you can see the actual data coming from the LiDAR itself and then we'll go through the details of the, that SDK and how to use the uh, uh, SDK with the UI okay and that's it for today and hopefully this uh, video is helpful to you uh, if you like our video give us a thumb up subscribe to our channel we have more video coming uh, on about this series of the uh, tutorial okay thank you and bye now